everybody. Today is Tuesday. And I'm telling you, we making tacos. Right there. That's right. Taco Tuesday at The Skins. So, welcome to Dins with Skins. I'm here. I've got two munchkins in here today. And we're going to work. One's going to work a camera. The other one's going to help cook. So let me show you ingredients and let's get this video started. Here we have some sour cream. That's going to be a topper along with our tomatoes, lettuce. We have fry half of the onion and also chop it for our, um, our uh, topper. We have ground beef here. Uh, we have thick tortillas here. Taco shells and Mexican style cheese and yes cheater taco mix for now um uh, you can make your own uh plenty of recipes out there on youtube and free taco bell sauce and i've got some other sauce downstairs but i have to go get that sometime during our video so stay tuned here we go let's make tacos all right so first thing we're gonna do is do what you're gonna what? Grab our meat! Yes, we're gonna ground that meat. So let's bring that over to our hot pan. Now we heated up our pan, it just started to smoke. And let's go ahead and grab that and put that right in there. Now this is frozen, so it's gonna take a little bit for us to do. But uh, when that's done browning, we'll be back. Let's add our seasoning pack to that. And then let's add our onions and our garlic that is all chopped up to add to that. And this should cook for about 20 minutes and simmer, get the meat nice and soft. Great job. Make sure you get all that good onions out of there, right? Yes. So we'll mix this in and we'll let that cook and we'll be back. Seasoning is all cooked. We've been cooking it for about 15 to 20 minutes. You did a great job on that. Uh, chopping that meat up into small little pieces now we'll take a look at it and do a little taste test how's that taste it's good mm. definitely okay so we're gonna set this into a bowl in a minute and put it with our other stuff oh here we are we're gonna start the prep work right here i'm gonna take half of this onion and I'm gonna cut it in half, setting that aside. And then I'm gonna open up, these are Roman tomatoes. Don't they look lovely? I love these. And that's what I grow outside. So we're gonna need probably one of those or one and a half of those. And then we got a head of lettuce here. So we'll continue to cook this up and we'll be back here shortly. Doing nothing hiding uh, behind the door. Uh-huh. Why? You try to scare me? That no. ain't work. Darn it. Darn. Now these are Roman tomatoes. What I do is I top it and then I cut it this way twice. Taking out the center cores first. I like to get those cut nice nice chunks. I like those center chunks are really tasty. So I go like that. And then what I come back and do with these corner pieces is I cut them here and then I go across like that. And they make really nice toppers.
All right, that egg's done. Plating some rice with that egg that I just cooked. Because this is baby's dinner on tacos. She'll be the first one to say, but I don't like taco. So this is what we do for her. Eggs and rice, she loves it. We are ready to make a taco. So we're gonna take this tortilla shell. Now this is the thicker one. I like the thicker ones. I don't like the really thin ones. We're gonna take it over here to the stove and my stove is already hot. I've got it set at about medium heat. And we're gonna toast this right on the stove, like so. Just a couple of turns to get it nice and heated. Get a little bit of brownness on there. Give it a little bit of cookness to it. And then we're going to bring it over here. And this is how I start out my ingredients. I'm going to take my spoon that I didn't have ready. And we're going to put some meat right down here. I like meat, so I put a nice little portion there. Leaving a little bit of extra space at the end here because that's where we're going to be folding. I like to add a little bit of tomatoes. A little bit of onions. Now this is diced lettuce. I like with soft shell. It's so much easier to fold them if you use a soft shell. And then we're going to use a little bit of sour cream. Kind of like your premium taco at Taco Bell. Today is homemade tacos. Alright. And then here I have egg. The reason I have egg is because I like eggs in my tacos. So I'm going to give a nice little edging of egg there. And then... You know all those leftover sauces that you have at Taco Bell? Well, there you go. We're just going to open this bad boy up. Going to grab ourselves some hot sauce. And for my daughter's sake, I'm only going to put one on. It's kind of her first time taste, test tasting a premium taco for soft shell. So we're going to fold this up like this. And then across like this turning our taco towards us and then we're just going to roll it up a little and wrap it and there you go that's your homemade taco folks soft shell great job you guys here we have hard shell tacos. We just made a soft shell taco. We're going to make hard shell tacos. We use Ortega just because we prefer to use that one. It's not the cheapest, but it's not, uh, it's not uh, generic, per se. Now we'll see if they're any good. Look at that. All plastic wrapped up this time. All right, let's get that open. I'm gonna make two tacos here, so I'm gonna work on the first one while my daughter toast is the second one. So, we don't need that. All right, let's go over here to the stove. We're gonna to toast it like this. We're just gonna heat it up a little bit on the stove. And if you, if you watch it, girls, see it moves? That means it's cooking. Now see the oils that are coming out of it? Everything you eat, even though it's dry, it may have oil in it. So let's come back over here. And we're going to add a little bit of meat. And in this one, I like hard shell taco with Mexican cheese right there. So we're going to get ourselves a nice portion of cheese in there. And then I'm going to add some tomatoes, some onions. Um, we're going to grab this other lettuce over here. 
which is a little bit lengthier type of lettuce. I like to take a couple of sleeves like this, lay it across the top like that. No, this is just the way I make them. Now, I still add the egg, and that's last right on top. And this one, and then we'll add hot sauce again. I'm going to add some sauce to that. And by the magic of kids, I have another empty shell case here. And we're going to add some meat to this one as well. Then we're going to add our tomatoes. And I like to add my tomatoes on the bottom. I don't know about you guys. I just don't like them being on top and they fall out. So I'm going to add my onions. All right, our other camera died. But anyways, where we were was adding the lettuce. Like so. And this one I'll add cheese a little bit later. Just to give it a different look. Some people put it on the bottom with the meat. Some put it on top. As long as it's in the shell, I don't care. And a little bit of egg with this one. And our last thing, which I love, sour cream. Okay, so we plated these two. One fell over. But I got another treat for you guys that our camera died. Is up here in the microwave. Remember that soft shell taco? You can't have tacos without nachos. Look at that. Doesn't that look really good? What do you girls think? Good. Alright. So, it's time to uh, sit down and take a bite. After we get a couple of photos of our meal. So, there you have it. Hard shell tacos, soft shell tacos, and nachos. This is the best part, you guys. We get to eat the food. Ain't that right? All right. So let's try the soft shell first. I'm going to get a lot of bread, but I think I can get my chomps down there far enough on this. Mmm. 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 That's pretty good. But for my tacos... Just Taco Bell's hot sauce isn't good enough. I got some Mad Dog. And this is the Reaper pepper. We're going to add some hot sauce first. And then I'm going to add the Red Dog. Just like that. Look at that, you guys. This is the one that fell over, too. That we didn't put sauce on. So I'm going to eat that. All that pepper. Do I eat it? What do you think? Good. Is it pretty good? Alright. Like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up for Trent. That's it from the kitchen. And Dins with Skins. Bye! Bye.